cet amour. C'était incroyable. Alright, so this is the explanation video as we know it. Here we have just at a glance the things before I put them in the box. First item that I got of them all was this brush set because I just saw it was pink and purple and I was like, yes, gotta snatch it up. But then it occurred to me like, wait a minute, what if Bombs already got like a thousand brushes? But I guess a girl can never have too many brushes, right? So I shoved that right in there. Of course, going along with the whole pink and purple theme of everything was this little ColourPop um, eyeshadow set that I thought it was so your aesthetic. Also, ColourPop is like, oh, it tried to get like them basic American brands like them well-known, renowned. So ColourPop Real Techniques is, of course the go-to for brushes i had to get this i put ground two faced roaches because of the highlight powder the iridescence of it all like in general i kind of went with like pink purple and a touch of iridescence with the color scheme and this is one of those items that is like the basic american go-to like a basic bitch item to use like that pop-in highlight so i was like yes i don't know why this one i associated so much with like graduation especially this is like a grad gift for sure and the most oops the most perfect pink and purple like beauty blenders to go with the real techniques set i was like yes need to include that also in line of like basic bitch must have american items it occurred to me like those little circle eo lip balms like i have my own orange one like any any hoe needs to have one i found the most perfect set how it's like you're gonna hear me say pink and purple so freaking much in this freaking video but obvi pink and purple and then lemon party theme like the perfection of it all orange you the zest lemon tell you lime so glad we're friends like oh my god this is one of those items that like it was like perfect it was like it was created just for the occasion Oh, and of course, the brush going with the damn highlighter. I was being so extra. I was like, gotta get the set. And of course, I got just a general little bag of makeup things. I had this cute um, purple bag. It says hard candy. And I was like, yes. Oh, girl, just as a disclaimer, like, this is completely separate from the cosmetic bag I got as a birthday gift. This is like a gift I've gotten over the years, like a nice bag with cosmetics inside. So I wanted to like create my own as the own gift. Okay, but just open, opening her up and taking a peek. I just saw this on the Ulta Beauty website and I was like, why not? Brightening eyes, little pink atom. This was e.l.f. Like, I fucking love these lip exfoliators. Because in this desert, I be getting them crust, dusty as lips. So I gotta exfoliate them ho. I love NYX eyeliners. So I got NYX white liner. Because I live for those white liner serves. Just a generic e.l.f. lipstick moment. Oh, a NYX butter gloss moment, of course. I'm so extra. Oh, dang, things coming off. Urban planning, planning brow gel for the brows. Of course, had to get Sephora brand. This is like a lip mousse. For the Sephora items, I tried to get like a random little... I tried to insert some novelty things. I saw this weird sheer lipstick. It almost function, functions more like a lip gloss or lip liqueur, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And just like the, the aesthetic of it all, I was obsessed. And this, of course hi baby baby's taking a peek and this oh my god girl literally throw everything else in the trash if you want but i hope you serve a look or two with these i saw these glitter liners let's see if i learn how to video edit and insert some pictures but i just thought they were so stunning and gorge to like add to those white liner looks like yes shoving that in there okay moving on to like hair i guess like i was just browsing facebook after shopping for all them damn things you know how they snatch your information and like and convert it into ads i saw like these iridescent scrunchies and i just thought they were cute as hell so i snatched them literally like a dollar it was a steal they look a little ghetto in person some items you know they look better on the website but you might as well shove it in there you know can never have too many scrunchies oh on ulta beauty i also saw this cute ass pink bow and i was like yes 
shove that in there. Oh, and of course, a courtesy, always got to chop the price off of gifts. You know, it's just what I learned growing up. You always be serving them hair clips. So I was like, yes. It's like a reddish pink one and like a purple one. Of course, got to get both colors. Oh, and then moving on to the jewelry moment. When you first said the joke about mushrooms in a bag, I literally have like 18,000 of these mushroom buttons. I think I have literally like six more bags of these. But of course, I just fished out pink and purple and row eb like like early on in the process i couldn't even figure out what i was gonna put them on like who knows where they end up but i just shoved them in the accessory bag for the time being because of the mushroom in the bag joke i died i fucking died when you said that another theme that i incorporated was pig little piggies of course this necklace I thought was so adorable, so I snatched it up. I accidentally ordered two of them, so I guess we can be twinsies. And then I was thinking of motifs, like what are Bond's motifs? And I thought of like the BRB screen or like the starting up screen, at least the old one that you used to have. Let's see if I know how to put a picture in here. So I literally just googled crescent moon bracelet and I thought it was so per like the iridescence of it all. Another item that I thought looked a little bit better on the damn website, but it is what it is. This is such a Bond's thing, in my opinion, a freaking heart and like the pink purple iridescence and the little crescent moons. I'm like, damn. Another one of those items that were like, seemed to be made just for the occasion. I would probably say that this lemon upset and pig thing would be like my top threes if i could only send three items like i would have chosen them three things okay this video is turning out to be 18 months long so feel free to skip around of course little pig plushie it looked just like the follower notification i had to i actually already had like 18,000 little tiny plushies like these like various animal ones like i had an extra of the pig one so I just kept one of them and gave one to Baby. He already destroyed it, as you can see, like months ago. <laughs> of course, this one was like un untouched by the children. It was just like chilling, sitting on my desk until this occasion came up where now she's getting a new home. Now you can feed her to Maggie. And of course, the grand finale of it all. <laughs> The thing that I mentioned in one of my earliest vocaroos of how it was so absolutely perfect. I even added stickers. Like I dressed her up because before it was just the pig. But I added the little silver bow and like the catch these hoops. Like I'm so excited for this. It's so funny. There's some random makeup. A couple of random makeup things that came with it but of course you can just use this thing for storage or like whatever damn it don't even fit in this new box so we'll see how i end up shipping that i might just put it in a separate own box gift card to top it off of course i saw this cute pink purple gift card with a touch of uh silver so you could say the whole color scheme was pink purple silver and like iridescent but yeah, I had this blank space on it and I wanted to fill it with something like a sticker of some sort. I wasn't sure if I should do like a pig sticker or what, but I saw these super cute like personalized stickers for sale, like literally a couple of bucks. So I just ordered one that says ebony with like the silver and the pink. And yes, the perfection of it all. I added the 2020 sticker. Hopefully these damn gold stickers don't fall off. If they peel off, I'm finna be triggered. These are the damn things I used. I was thinking, should I sh insert it with it? But that might be so extra. But yeah, they best not fall off, I swear. Them items were removed because these basically just tasted like jelly beans. And I know you ain't a fan of jelly beans. And I shoved trolley, some trolley things in there anyway. These damn things are just stale beyond because they were already imported from Italy. And they were already hard, like mid-September. And now they're just damn rocks. I mean, bonbons are supposed to be kind of hard. But these are just beyond. They're basically just like strawberry jawbreaker things. And apparently I can't import any meat products. The absolute audacity. Honestly, this is one of those things where I feel like other countries would be like, Why do Americans like this shit? It's like so salty and crazy of a food. 
But the babies live for it. If I open it, then he will jump from across the room to try and steal it. I did taste it, and it basically just tasted like just like the choco shrooms, except a little bit sweeter. But yeah, just kind of like that white chocolatey strawberry-esque type flavoring. But it was the thought that counted, am I right, baby? Oh, baby's trying it too. <laughs> Fucking animal. He's a sweet tooth babe. To serve a little bit of like desert terrain, like Mexican spice. I thought it was cute. This item was literally you. I think I posted it in the Discord previously as a joke. So I went and got the IRL version. Girl, they might be a little stale, but literally throw them. Honestly, most of these things, if you don't like it, just throw it straight in the trash. Like, I don't mind whatsoever. Literally, same with these things. Like, if you don't like something, 100% feel free to throw in the trash, recycle, re-gift. I do not mind remotely whatsoever. I didn't even realize how much space everything would take up. Because, you know, when you're shopping, you don't even realize what it's going to end up being. Like, I don't know why I imagined everything being able to fit in, like, this box. But then I ended up using these two extra ones. Alright, so I am going to have to be doing some downsizing. So I think Miss Cactus is going to go into the Concha box. So it's just two boxes. And, yeah. So runner-up items. The first one literally has your name on it. Bon Bon Nail Polish. Look at it was the perf purple color. And ugh, the sale of it all. Like purple and pink combination going along with the whole theme. Freaking nail polish prohibited the audacity. I was high-key thinking of just like shoving it in anyway, but then I was like, ugh, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't take the damn risk, but I was tempted. I like going along with the pig theme. It would have been cute to shove this in, but I already got some pig items in there anyway, but oh my god, the mascot, it's so perfect. Catch these hoops. But yeah, I figure you don't really paint your nails much anyway, and it's more of like a kid's product. And I mean, of course, don't want to risk it with the damn nail polish. But I would buy these as a when I was younger. And oh my god, I lived for this brand. Another thing was these e.l.f. mineral pearls. Gotta love my brand e.l.f. It's my go-to brand, of course. I saw these novelty pearls and I've always wanted to try them. And, well, the first reason was I didn't want it to get mistaken as being ed edible. <laughs> and then you eat these damn things. I would have labeled it if I did send it that they're not edible, <laughs> along with the candy. Discovered bonbons. I was curious about trying more of them, so I ordered a different type. And these ones are like a sour kind, but yeah. Um, it, they look like a little elf mineral balls, so I wasn't wrong in saying they might get mistaken for candy. But it literally does nothing, like, no effect whatsoever. This is literally like $5, and this is the before and after of like a $60 version, and it just like has no effect. So I was like, eh, might as well, if it does nothing, you know, it will just be a waste in space and whatnot. But yeah, unfortunately these pearls were a flop pink wrapping paper that I got from ordering some of the things is so perfect I'm gonna shove that rat in and that's me in my country ghetto American desert swap box live hope you like them goods girl